Hello to all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader, message bearer, light worker, and Reiki healer. Today's tarot reading is spirit guide messages, whatever your spirit guides need to tell you right now. So for pile selection, we have card number one, card number two, card number three, card number four, and card number five. You can select your group intuitively by pausing the video if you'd like, or I lead a short breathing exercise to help you hone in with your intuition if you'd like to participate in that. Let's begin by closing our eyes. Take a slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release, letting your cares and worries float out of your body on your breath. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release, asking your spirit guides which group holds the messages for you. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now one of the cards or a number between one and five may just pop into your mind. If it does, select that pile. If not, don't worry. One more slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now when you're ready, open your eyes and select the pile that calls out to you the most. Trust your first instincts. That's your intuition. All right, for reminders, we have pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, pile number four, and pile number five. You can select your reading and go ahead and jump to it with the timestamps in the comments and description, and I will see you there. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number one. Your first spirit guide message is abundance is your right. So that takes us to an abundance mindset. So it is very, very important to remember that abundance is your right when you're trying to manifest. Now let's take a look at what else the spirit guides have to encourage you with today. So from the spirit guides, Spirit guides, please provide your guidance to group number one. Beyond abundance being their right, whatever other messages do you have? All right, you're being told to journey within, to give without expectation, and that love is your energy. Okay, so you're told abundance is your right. So those of you that are trying to manifest, keep that abundance mindset. You're being told to journey within. So there are things that you need to do on an inward path. You're being told to give without expectation. That will definitely bring back, you know, karmatic things that you'll really appreciate. And love is your energy. So love is the energy in with you in with which you focus and you make a difference in your life and the lives of those around you so love being your energy is a huge impact on your world now let's take a look at your tarot and see what specifically what specifically applies to these spirit guide cards so Spirit guides, please clarify 
abundance is your right. Show us what additional messages go with abundance is your right. All right, so some of you have got a lack mindset. You've got the devil coming out. This is restriction. This is you know a feeling like you're not worthy of abundance. So you've got the devil coming out with abundance is your right. You've got to let that go. Now you're being told to journey within. Why is journey within here, spirit guides? Show why journey within is part of this message. All right, the world is yours to have. Look at that. You've got Major Arcana coming out again. Journey Within will take you to completion. Notice in the world card how we have all four elements plus consciousness, the fifth element. So this is completion. Journeying within yourself will help bring you to completion. Now you're also being asked to give without expectation. So spirit guides, what does this give without expectation relate to? Why are they being told to give without expectation? All right, so give without expectation. It's going to bring in a beautiful romantic proposal for some of you. That's what the Knight of Cups uh, represents. It's a uh, romantic proposal. It is. Uh, it can. It can also show new friendships and an ideal dreamy time. If it's not an actual proposal, but if you give without expectation, you're going to have this ideal dreamy time. And finally spirit guides they're being told love is their energy what relates to love being their energy right here all right so you've got the two of wands so you have got romantic and creative partnerships flourishing it looks like this is a beautiful reading this is saying hey everything's working well for you except for your manifesting where you've got the devil kind of playing in the details and you just don't have this abundance mindset the the mindset that you have a right to abundance you have a mindset that you should struggle that you should you know endure lack and that is you know it, and it may be deep seated in your consciousness but this is saying hey there's something there's a devil in the details somewhere deep down with regards to your abundance and you can you can kind of purge that by knowing that it's there now journey within that is going to bring you to completion so meditation self-discovery however whatever path to self-discovery you choose it's going to bring you to completion now you're also being told to give without expectation some of you that's going to relate that's going to result in a romantic proposal for others of you it's going to be just a real ideal dreamy time um, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful energy and it's a beautiful thing to give without expectation. So know that you will put that beautiful energy out there and it will, it will be like, um, uh, the power of attraction, the law of attraction, like attracts, like you put that out there, it's going to come right back to you. And then love is your energy. You have got love pouring into your creative and romantic partnerships and just keep it going. Love is your energy. Love is what makes things follow down the path. So you have got love going in uh, in spades right now. So just let love embody love. You know, pour love into your creative partnerships. Pour love into your romantic partnerships. And you're going to see those partnerships flourish. Now, I would like a starseed card for the devil just to leave that on a more positive note so from the starseed oracle deck from starseed wisdom maybe please have a card for the devil out of the starseeds okay here we go vibration your vibration is being raised to higher levels you are connected to cosmic intelligence. All right, so this is telling you raise your vibration right out of that devil energy. Raise that vibration. Keep it going up. Abundance is your right. Remember abundance is your right. Journey down this path of self-discovery. It's going to bring you to completion to where love is your energy and everything flourishes. All right, that is what I have for pile number one today. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader. 
Thank you to everyone who's supporting my channel in any way, whether it's by watching my videos, like, subscribe, comment, private reading, donation, whatever it is you're doing, I really appreciate you and I want you to know it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected group number two with the like attracts like card. So many of you manifesting, well, really all of you manifesting, we are always manifesting. Whether we're manifesting stuff that we want or stuff that we don't want, that is what the like attract like card means. It means you're attracting whatever you're putting out there. So whether it's what you want to manifest or not, you are manifesting. Now, spirit guides, what additional messages would you like to leave for group number two? Messages for group number two, spirit guides. All right. All right, so you're being told to set your intentions. So it looks like this is about manifesting. Stay open-minded, absolutely. And I'm going to shuffle one more. I want one more, please. Uh, calm is not a weakness. Okay. So this is definitely some of you manifesting. You've got the like attracts like, which is the law of attraction. You've got set your intentions. So you need to set those intentions with those I am statements to really manifest what you want. Then you've got to stay open-minded to the whole process because the law of attraction and manifestation is not it's not, um, well, it's just, it's a little bit different for everyone. And then calm is not a weakness. So staying calm in all of your situations, not a weakness. It's a uh, really good advice. So let's see what specific situations these spirit guide messages relate to. So spirit guides, please show us why you have like attracts like here. What are we talking about with the like attracts like card? All right, temperance. So you're talking about balance. So those of you who are like manifest, 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 you're not enjoying the wonderful things that you have right now. You've got to be grateful for what you have and you need some balance in your life. So take that as it resonates for whoever that's for. Now, set your intentions, spirit guides. Why is set your intentions here? Please share why set your intentions is here. All right, so you're struggling, some of you, with manifestations. Intentions are I am statements. They are, you know, statements that say this is what's going to happen, and, and then you manifest that actually happening in your life. So just don't, don't fight, but put the work in to set your intentions, okay? Find those intention statements of what you actually want and set those intentions. Now you're being told to stay open-minded. Spirit guides, why is the stay open-minded card here? Okay, death, so something's ending for the start of something new. And you're being told to stay open-minded with it. So whatever new is starting, it is a beautiful new beginning, but just it's going to need you to stay open-minded. And finally, calm is not a weakness. Why is calm not a weakness? Because there is a natural ending to something. And you're going to need to stay calm in that natural ending. This, uh, okay, the two of cups also tried to jump out of the deck when I stacked the cards up. So let's, um, the, the two of cups talks about a soulmate relationship. Um, some of you are manifesting money. Some of you are manifesting this soulmate relationship and make sure that you keep an open mind when things end, they may just be stepping stones to this beautiful relationship that you're headed to. Cause you want your soulmate relationship and, you know, a twin flame relationship is great for what it's for. And a, a karmic flame relationship is great for what it's for. But a soulmate relationship is what most people seek. And this is telling you, you can totally manifest your soulmate relationship. There are just some things that need to end. 
and you're going to come into balance as you manifest this relationship, which you absolutely can do. All right, that is all I have for pile number two. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you to everyone who's supporting my channel in any way, whether it's by like, subscription, comment, private reading, donation, whatever you're doing, I really appreciate you and I want you to know it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected group number three with the Know Your Truth card as the signifier. That is a powerful spirit guide message to know your truth. You're being told that, you know, your truth is inside you and, uh, and you need to remember what uh, those things that, that are fundamentally true for you. Now, let's take a look and see what else the spirit guides have to say for group number three. All right, so spirit guides, what else do you have for group number three? All right, you're being told to be of service. You're being told to express your feelings and to journey within. All right, let's see what specific tarot situations are related to these messages. Your, your first message is know your truth. That's about knowing, you know, what's true inside you, your fundamental truths. Then you're told to be of service. You're being asked to express your feelings. So there are things in your feelings that, that really need to come out. And then also journey within to see what's going on inside yourself. Now, from the tarot, we will start with Know Your Truth, Angels, Spirit Guides. Please use the tarot to show us why Know Your Truth is here. All right, you've got lots and lots of options right now. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. You need to know your truth about the options. You need to remember what you know to be true and not be taken in by some of these kind of false options that may look good on the surface, but really aren't. Now, you're also being reminded to be of service. So spirit guides, why is the be of service card here? Be of service, okay because your romantic and creative partnerships are flourishing, you need to be of service in both of those types of relationships. Be of service all the time to your fellow soul, to your fellow human, well, to your fellow spirit being, having a human experience. Be of service and people are gonna turn that around and give it right back to you. They're gonna be of service to you. It's a symbiotic relationship, but you make sure that, uh, well, I mean, you're being advised to be of service in your creative and romantic partnerships. So just take it as it resonates. Now, express your feelings. Some of you really need to express your feelings somewhere. Spirit guides, why is this express your feelings card here? All right, because some of you are bored and looking at what you could have, what you imagine you could have. You need to express your feelings. If you're not happy in your current situation, you need to talk to your guides, talk to your angels, tell them what makes your soul sing and you know, really chase those things. But, uh, but you're being told to also be grateful for what you have because you want this and there's a boredom because you don't have it but you do have lots of things to be grateful for. So express those feelings of gratitude. That'll help bring in the new thing that you want. Now also journey within. Let's see why journey within is here. All right, so you're being told to journey within. Again, you're looking at what you've lost versus what you have. Um, that is the really the message out of the four and five of cups here. So whatever, another message please for group number three. So for this five of cups energy, what can be done to break this five of cups energy? 
All right, fun, socializing. So journey within, figure out what, who's gonna bring your spirits up, what you still have, and bring that into the forefront of your thinking. You know, bring that to the forefront. You have good friends, many of you, that um, if you take some time to really look inside, you will remember that you have these good friends you can call on. So call on your friends, do some socializing. This uh, friendship connection is gonna help you step out of this Five of Cups and into a more grateful, gratitude style uh, mentality where you can be of service and, uh, and really your romantic and creative partnerships are really gonna flourish. So you know what? You got the moon too because it's stuck to my hand when I, when I picked my hand up and uh, it, it wanted to come out. The moon is about decisions. So some of you are afraid to make decisions. Some of you need to look into your dreams. That's the added message of the moon. It's saying, look into your dreams. Your answer is in your dreams sometimes. So take that as it resonates for whoever that's for. I would also like to get you a little star seed message for this five of cups, just because it's kind of a heavy energy. And I would like to see if there's any wisdom from the star seeds about alleviating this five of cups beyond just the page of cups. All right, so out of the star seed oracle, please. All right, here we go. Ascension, your soul is evolving to higher states of consciousness. You are ready for this. All right, so really this is, an, it's part of your ascension. You're gonna have to just kind of go through it but keep your focus on what you still have. As you count the things that you've lost, don't, don't, don't worry about what you perceive yourself to have lost. There are things that get replaced very, very quickly when we consider ourselves to have a loss. So just remember, you are in the process of ascension. You're ready for this, you've got this, you can do this. All right, thank you so much, group number three, for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you to everyone who's supporting my channel in any way, whether it's the like, subscribe button, whether you are just watching all my videos or you're leaving donations or getting private readings, whatever you're doing, I really appreciate you and I want you to know it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected group number four. Your first spirit guide message is to never judge another. And as I pick this up and I'm looking at it, it's also to stop judging yourself so harshly. You know, some of you would never judge somebody else as harshly as you do yourself. So just take that as it resonates. Some of you need to really stop trying to judge yourself so hard. And, uh, and always, you know, just don't, don't judge others. We're all on our own path here. And uh, there's no way of knowing what you would do on someone else's path until you've walked in their shoes. Now, for additional spirit guide messages, spirit guides, what else for group number four? All right, so never judge another and then stay open-minded. Journey within. Wow, meditation is just keeps coming up. Follow the golden rule, and I want one more. This, uh, please, one more. Follow the golden rule. I am here. Let's shuffle. I feel like there's something else in here that uh, just needs to come out. All right. Here we go. Inspire others. All right. So let's take a look at the tarot and see what specifically relates to these spirit guide messages for you because there's going to be things in your life that they specifically relate to now for never judge another spirit guides why is never judge another here why is group number four being told to never judge another okay all right so you're being told to never judge another because you have to take action in situations around you, you have to take action. And you're being told not to judge others as you take action, but also you need to know your truth. The Queen of Swords does not doubt herself. The Queen of Swords is um, 
she's an action player. She takes the action and she has the bravery inside her to take said action. So just, you know, remember that you embody this Queen of Swords and you shouldn't judge yourself too harshly either. Now for this stay open-minded spirit guides, why is stay open-minded here? Stay open-minded. All right, so you get the moon. Uh, the moon comes out. It talks about fear around decisions. It can talk about your literal dreams, holding the answers to some of the questions you have in your soul. So if it feels that way to you, then know that this reading is talking to you and next you need to journey within. So look inside yourself. Why is this journey within here? What's going on with the journey within? All right, so you get justice. So there's balance. When you look inside yourself, you're going to find balance. You're going to, you know, find your center and you, you know what actions you need to take in your life, you know, with this queen of swords, the action came out in the very beginning. Now there is fear around decisions with the stay open-minded, but the journey within is it's going to bring you balance. Now for follow the golden rule, why is follow the golden rule here? Spirit guides, why is follow the golden rule here? Okay, the world. So it is, look at all this major arcana coming out. You've got the moon, you've got justice, you've got the world. That is beautiful. So you're coming into completion and you're just being told, hey, be nice to others because there's some completion coming for you. And this is, you know, this is all four elements plus consciousness. So it is really the all complete, you know, it's completion. So just as you step into your completion, just make sure that you are kind to others and you treat others the way you would have them treat you if they were in your shoes. Now, finally, for inspire others, you get fighting. All right, so this is fighting for what you want. This is fighting for your... Yourself, really. It's fighting for, you know what? I want another card to clarify it because there's fighting, but it's for yourself. It's for others. It is fighting clarification, please. All right. So there's lots of decisions. All right. So people are following you. They're watching you as you bring your fight to the game and just be, be mindful that you inspire others with your actions. So when you bring your fight, make sure that you remember that others are watching you bring your fight. When you make your decisions with the Seven of Cups, make sure that you remember that others are watching you. People that look up to you are making their decisions based off your decisions. So remember to inspire others with everything you do. Even when you're fighting, even when you're making rough decisions, you can still inspire others. Now, I think this is a beautiful reading. I want to get you a piece of starseed wisdom for that. Oh, wow. Okay, so you got starseed on the bottom of the deck. We'll just put that here with, uh, with the Queen of Swords. But I would like to, or not the Queen of Swords, with Justice. It says starseed. Raise the vibration of the planet through your radiant, loving light. You are absolutely capable of that. But there is special advice in here for the Queen of Swords somewhere. I can feel it, so uh, let's see what the star seeds have to say for the Queen of Swords. All right, for the Queen of Swords. Guidance, you are not alone. You are guided by masters and teachers of the highest realm. So as you, this, this Queen of Swords here represents you taking action, stepping into the action center, the power center in your life. Just know as you make these actions, as you figure out what you need to do and do it, you have the guidance of your masters and teachers from the highest realms guiding you through this journey. So don't be afraid when you hear inspire others. You already inspire others. Remember that you inspire others as you're making your decisions because it'll help you make better decisions. All right, that is all I have for group number four. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for everyone who's supporting my channel in any way, whether it's by like, subscription, comment, you know, private reading, donation, whatever you're doing, I appreciate you and I want you to know it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. 
Bye bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected group number five with this death is an illusion card. The first message you get from the spirit guides is that someone's trying to come through and communicate for this group. Um, this is just, you know, it, this card comes out when there's communication. Uh, so we welcome any spirits that are trying to communicate with group number five as long as they are of the light. Um, spirits that are of the light are welcome to come through and deliver messages for loved ones um, through the tarot, through the spirit guide messages. So please, as you see fit, speak through the cards. All right, so you are being told to forgive yourself. So some of you um, hold yourself accountable for the person that you've lost. Um, I'm just keeping this real, real. It's very emotional. I feel like crying. Um, this person wants you to forgive yourself. So please, if you're holding something against yourself, you've lost a loved one and you blame yourself for their loss, please, please forgive yourself. They want you to forgive yourself. Now, message number two patience is a virtue all right so some of you want to be with your loved ones so much and they're telling you patience is a virtue you have things that you have to accomplish things that you have to finish here so you need to be patient and know that they are they're watching you they're with you they they really want you to forgive yourself all right any final messages i'm gonna shuffle real quick to see if there's anything else from whoever is trying to come through with, um, and it could be spirit guides. It could be, you know, that forgive yourself was definitely someone's loved one coming back and saying, Hey, you need to forgive yourself because you are holding against yourself what happened to me. And that's not okay. They want you to know that, uh, that you are not responsible for, for their passing okay so it's going to be okay now final message is know your truth all right so this is coming through loud and clear um you're being told to forgive yourself you're being told patience is a virtue so you've got to be patient you've got to continue on um and you're also being asked to know your truth whatever that is the truth of your loved one the truth of your spiritual beliefs you need to know your truth you are um, you are a wonderful vibrant being and you have much to give all right now to whatever spirits have brought us these messages for whomever they're for and trusting that the messages will be delivered as they should Please, spirits, show me why death is an illusion is here. All right. Some of you are spending all of your time alone after the loss of your loved one. Some of you are just like all you can do is be alone. And they are just acknowledging that, uh, that they have transitioned, but they are still with you. They, you are not alone. Okay. That is what this hermit is coming out to say. It's to say you feel alone, but you are not alone. Now, forgive yourself. That one is pretty specific. It's pretty straightforward, but let's take a look. So for the spirit that brought us, forgive yourself. What else would you like to add? Faith. All right. So some of you are looking at, um, some of you are looking at marriage. Uh, or some form of, you know, institutionalized relationship where, you know, it's committed. And um, this is saying, you know, you need to forgive yourself before you proceed in your ne next relationship. But they want you to forgive yourself. They want you to move on. They are saying this patience is a virtue because not because they need to be patient with you, but because you need to be patient with you. You are having trouble, a lot of you, with letting go, with letting yourself move forward. And you have these new relationships 
that are helpful to you, but you can't forgive yourself enough to let them progress to where they should go. Now, for patience is a virtue. Why is patience a virtue here? All right, yep, there is a romantic proposal. So some of you are being told. Some of you, this is not a loved one like that. Um, some of you, this is a mom coming through. So take it as it resonates. But I definitely, when I turned over the Knight of Cups, I felt a mom come through saying, you know, patience is a virtue. Your Prince Charming's gonna gonna ask you for your hand in marriage when they're supposed to and your mom wishes she could be there so take that as it resonates for whoever that's for um it is it's a very emotional thing but uh okay finally know your truth know your truth so spirits why is know your truth here all right because you are getting a brand new beginning this ace of cups this new emotional beginning so you have all lost someone everyone i believe who's resonating with this pile like you would have been gone by now if you hadn't lost someone you've lost someone you need to forgive yourself you need to let yourself move on this is progress in your in your affairs this is letting yourself move on it's okay to move on patience is a virtue you're gonna have beautiful things come in this is an ideal time it could be a romantic proposal it could be new friends but but this is coming to you and then know your truth know that you have a brand new beginning that you are emotionally strong enough for you're going to come out of this hermit and you're going to move into this ace of, ace of cups and it's going to be okay now for a final piece of advice i would like to get a starseed oracle card um let's start with the hermit a starseed oracle card for the hermit observation Expand your consciousness by observing the divine matrix of life. That's kind of where you are in the hermit is observation. Now, for forgive yourself in faith, you get abundance. When your heart's intention is to serve humanity, doors of abundance naturally open. So you're going to step into an abundant lifestyle as things progress. You just need to forgive yourself. Now, for this romantic proposal, light. It's time to reveal your radiant light to the world. All right, so this is a beautiful, beautiful relationship. And finally, for the Ace of Cups, release. Release anything that keeps you from your path of authenticity. You don't have to hold on to your hurt from the loss of your loved one anymore. They're asking you to forgive yourself. They're asking you to know your truth and let yourself move on. It's time to release. All right, that is all I have for group number five. Again, that was a very, those were some very specific messages. So if this did not resonate with you, just please choose a different pile. This is very specific for a select group of viewers. Um, each and every one of you who this resonates for, I have so much love and compassion for you. It's so hard losing a loved one. So please, please just know that in my heart, you know, my, my heart and soul go out to you. All right, until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.